And I hope that in the years ahead that we may look back on this day and this action as being the most significant action taken during this administration. In 1971, President Richard Nixon signed a landmark bill in front of a packed White House audience, the National Cancer Act. And while unfortunately for President Nixon, it would not go down as the, quote, most significant action taken during his administration, ahem, Watergate cover-up, it did mark the start of America's war on cancer. Half a century and hundreds of billions of dollars in research later, who is winning that war? The short answer is cancer. Today, roughly one in two men and one in three women in the United States will be diagnosed with the disease in their lifetime. It remains the second leading cause of death in America behind heart disease, and it kills nearly 1,700 people a day. Nor is the death toll evenly shared. Black women, for example, are 40% more likely to die of breast cancer than white women, despite lower incidence. And the price of survival can be steep. Modern cancer drugs often cost over $100,000 a year, with patients shouldering more than $21 billion annually in direct expenses. That's the short answer. The longer answer is we are putting up a heck of a fight. Survival rates, for instance, have increased dramatically. In the 1960s, just one in three people diagnosed with cancer lived at least five years. Today, it's more than double that. Cancer is personal. Both my parents died from it. If you haven't had it yourself, you know someone who has. But my guest today gives me hope the technology may be finally putting us on the winning end of that fight. As artificial intelligence continues to advance, we could be at the beginning of the most significant medical advancement of our lifetimes.